Here is a G711 packet. Here's a G729 packet. If you add up all the numbers, you'll see that the base bandwidth is 64 kilobit per second versus 8 kilobit per second. You've got some header information and your total bandwidth, you add the numbers up, and basically you've got 95.2 versus 40 kilobits per second with the same traffic. You got a lot smaller packet in there that you can jam into the stream. Network, the, the, the view of the asset from, from what we just talked about. So yeah. you got your core asset system, which we're gonna be talking later on in the training system, in the tra tra training series. What we've been talking about is really the SIFT and the IAX, which are the paths into the system. We've talked about the transcoding, which is done inside the PBX core that causes latency. And then you've got applications that are running that also cause your latency. Um, you've got CDR records running. You've got system things like uh, MySQL data and stuff like that. But what we've covered here is basically really the SIF and IAX and the um, the, uh, the need to be able to get things in and out of your PBX core. So um, I think everybody understands TANSCO, but here's a really quick look at it. You've got your, you've got your RTP stream coming in. The core of your PBX is taking a 729 and, so you're taking a 729 and converting it to that's something used inside the system, or all the phones inside the system will probably be 711. This could just uh, is easily be an audio screen that's being saved on disk. And so you have all, so you've got easily one phone call where this G729 has to service phone, plus you have to service audio recordings. <coughs> so, um, you know, last one I'll wrap up is, is, is as you're implementing a new system or as you, as you are, are working with your corporate system, um, you always need to be thinking about where is your DHCP server and can your, your system access a real DNS service. If, you're, if your phones, we're going to be talking in the next phase about installation and configuration files, but if your phone system can't talk to a DNS service, it needs to talk to itself as a DNS service. And the reason being is that there are, uh, there's things in the code that expect to at least get a response, even though it's a response that says, I don't know what that address is, otherwise the phone call will be 20, 20 seconds complete. So you always have to make it smart about a DNS. It itself will acknowledge DNS requests with, I don't know. Ask me how did I ask you. This is what we do. We just, but it's sorting out packets out there. In the, in the future releases of ASIC 2.8, at one point, in one point eight of Astrid, um, we don't have that limitation anymore. The changes that we made that that's not an issue. But in uh, one point four, we're at in one point six two, which you guys have for the first time that we've released it. And it's out now. Uh, it still requires an external DNS server, oh, somebody to answer this request. The HCP is all about yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, this is an important point. There are many. Dictate to the client or to the reseller, they must be connected to the internet in order to work. Period. End of story. Uh, but going over right now, people really having to do that. We have demos that we are running a phone system and we're not connected to the internet. But there has to be a DNS resolved, you know, in there, you know, so you don't have any delays in your performance. Clients like you know, manufacturers like Finality. Um, you have to be connected to the internet. There's no option. Uh, use of that nature. And two of the ports has to be connected to the internet. No option. Sometimes it's because they also use a centralized and hosted licensing server. So if you're not connected and not going back to the licensing server and you're not licensed properly, they actually shut down your building and force you to call support. So, which starts to get on the internet. Right. But anyway, but just so you're aware of it, this is important because. Security is what it is. If you want to run your phone system and not be connected to the internet, you can. I mean, you lose voicemail to email, obviously, because things of that nature, but, you know, if you really wanted to shut it down, you can, and, and we'll work just fine. 
Um, what Bill said is mostly true because he's running that a couple times, but you could easily have your uh, your exchange server inside your LAN, and your exchange server knows how to talk to the outside world, and of course your voicemail, okay. the email will just fine. So, but both, but when we license, we, we license over the internet, but we also provide you mechanisms so that we can send you a text message and you can cut and paste it with an option in to put the license in on the command line also so you can't be behind the firewalls. And then the DHCP server is all about endpoint registration. I think we've covered that. And you're going to stumble all over and hate, and hate things when you do it in labs. So you'll have a look, good operator to learn all about option 66. But just remember option 66 all the time. Thank you.